Well, competing in pageants is certainly more complex than you may think. Believe me, I know firsthand. Absolutely. For today's Woman at Work, we sit down with the 2017 Miss United States title holder. Tony Burnett is in the building. We have royalty. <laughs> dun, Thank dun, you dun. so much for joining us today. I'm so excited. How does Thank it you feel to be me. crowned yes. a national title Miss United States? Oh my gosh. It's actually super exciting. Yeah. I'm really thrilled about it. And I mean, it's always shocking and surprising when you're on the stage and you hear your name called. I think the first thing I wanted to do was drop down. I prayed first. Like, thank God. <laughs> but it's always exciting. That's yeah. fantastic. So tell us a little bit about your journey leading up to this crown. So leading up to the crown, I really had given pageantry my all and said, you know, I think I'm done with pageantry, but somehow that bug always bites oh, you and gets you know that first hand. <laughs> and, you know, a friend of mine called me and she said, you know, I really think you'd be great for this system. I think that your platform would really, you know, benefit from this. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, well, send me the information. And I became Miss Marilyn. Yes. <laughs> and represented the state of Maryland while competing and um, won that title and then headed straight to Florida to compete in nationals wow. two months later. Now Fantastic. you mentioned your platform. What is your platform? Yes. So my platform is children's literacy. It's mm. level up in literacy. It's really important that we get the foundation right. I think that oftentimes we really forget that the basics are the most important things and literacy, reading, comprehension, that is the most important thing. That is the start. It's the only way that you can continue in your life and really excel. So I'm really focused on it. It was a big part of my growing up. Um, I was bullied as a kid and I found solace in books. Wow. So for me, you know, books just offer so much of an opportunity to do so many other things and to explore other lifestyles and conditions. Definitely. And I really enjoyed that. Isn't so. it crazy we were just talking about like education in our previous segment? Right. Yeah. I mean, it's pervasive and it's important. Definitely. Everybody needs a good education. So what are you doing to promote your platform during this year? What have you done? Oh, so I've had the opportunity of partnering up with Riff. Reading is Fundamental, a national organization that most people know because growing up, I remember Riff in my school. They gave away books all the time, and now they've just become bigger than ever. Yeah. And they've actually given us the opportunity to get online and do programming. They have a Literacy Central, and you can connect and find books and find locations to pick up free books. And it's just a great partnership, and I look forward to everything I'm doing with that, too. Ooh, That's girl. fantastic. <laughs> yes. Nice with you, Tony. Oh, my yeah, So you're going to finish out your year. Yes, yes absolutely. And you know, I love my system so much. I love the Miss United States system. So I plan to be as involved as I can be. And so that goes to co-directing okay. and some coaching and some fun things and exciting things like that. Um, I'm just going to make sure I keep maybe the pageant bug going a little okay. bit. Okay. I can see some more titles in your future. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. We'll definitely see how well, it goes. Well, it was a pleasure, Tony. Always good vibes yes. with you. Oh, same Congratulations. with you. Congratulations. And best of luck for the rest of your journey. I know. Thank you so much. Well, and you'll see. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, do you guys need a fan? I could oh, be a hair blowing in the wind. 